The foundation coming at you with a Cowboys offseason video. So, you know, you know everything that happened, you know did what didn't happen, especially with the Cowboys. I did not think personally I did not think they were gonna be any any busier in the first part of the of the stuff. So I, I, I was kinda I, I took it as a joke because a lot of people was getting really upset with all the things going on. Now the trades, now that and that was kinda like wow. But at the same time, I was just like, Cowboys gonna slay it back and everything like that. So I wasn't surprised at one bit what happened for the Cowboys. Would I like to see something happen? Regardless, you know, I, I'm good if, they, if it happened, but I ain't gonna trip just because it didn't happen. <laughs> um, but anyway, you guys know of all the moves and everything. The thing, the thing that makes it interesting for the draft now, because the Bills moved up to 12, they're kind of taking the similar route as the Eagles, getting the top of the mid-round, and then making a move to the top five, top two, top three pick, and all that. And the Jets knew that, and the Jets was like, ooh, okay, we got to end it. And they gave a lot. You know, the, the Colts demanded a lot, and they gave a lot to these three spots. So now that makes the... The Giants mouth water a little bit. They like ten spots, huh? For three spots, you guys gave up that much. Let's see. <laughs> Let me, give me something. Because the Giants now, I mean, that the decision is gonna have to be made now. For them, that's what makes it all interesting. Is do they get the future quarterback? Do they? Do they get the impact running back in Barkley? Uh, or they trade back and you know try to rebuild their offensive line, even though. Even though they got solder, you know, you don't stop there. You just go, oh, well, we got a guy, you know, we got a guy. You know, you don't stop there. Um, the Browns could be like, hey, hey we took Tyler Taylor off your hands. You want to give us picks too? <laughs> and then the Browns goes too, are they, are they satisfied with Keenum? Um, but leads me to this now. Now, without going, you know, all the quarterbacks now being pushed up. and are, Or maybe one or two could fall to a certain area depending but um but anyway um you know what to do with 19 you guys know my my, my pet cats i would love to see rock on smith at their 19 now people had asked me before you know hey hey you said we gotta you gotta we gotta um rebuild our offensive line yeah i mean i'll be I'll be ecstatic if we take a offensive alignment in the first round. But the thing is, I am this more focused on this as long as it is addressed in the first three rounds. At some point in the draft, especially in the first three rounds, we need to address our offensive line. So whether you know be Nelson is a guy, oh my god, if he was to fall down to us, ooh, I'll be jumping out of my seat to get, you know, to pay for him. Well Hernandez, my pet cat. Um, Isaiah Wynn, solid guy, versatile guy, and you know, my favorite player in the draft is obviously Rokon Smith. Um, again, another thing, you know, we need to address in the first three rounds. We need to address the linebacker position as far as depth. Rokon Smith, Tremaine Edmonds. I'll get into all those different guys later on, but as long as we address it in the first three rounds. Another one we need to address in the first three rounds is is um, safety and wide receiver. Will we trade up for to get that guy like Darren James? Mm. Might cost a lot because you just saw what happened, you know. So that might be something as, as maybe for Rokon Smith as well too. You know that could be something that could be out of our reach um, or too expensive, I should say. Um, but again, you know, if, as long as we, we adjust it in the first three rounds, um, wide receiver, I'll be glad we take, you know, Ridley or, you know, especially DJ Moore. <laughs> I like Ridley, but I love DJ Moore. <laughs> and I mean, I would love, you know, so, so I'm going to be ecstatic, but again, first three rounds. Now that's four position I say that we got to address in the first three rounds. Well, you know, the only one I probably let slide is 
is a wide receiver because I can see the first four rounds getting a quality guy. You know, so and it's jam packed. So other so teams might be taking other team uh, positions. You know, another one is a defensive tackle. So you know, as much as I like to take Vale, as much as I like to take um, Payne, you know, I can go five rounds where I know we can get a these you know good nose tackle slash one technique whatever you wanna whatever whatever you wanna um, label them as. So. So that's how, I mean, I'll get into that draft stuff and all that, but now it makes it real interesting in this draft. So sad to see Hitchens go, sad to see Keith Smith go, Keith, Keith Smith go. and, you know, Kyle Wilber, but, you know, they, you know, you know, Hitchens is going to get a chance to earn every penny. I mean, will he live up to it? Who knows, but, you know, he's going to fight like hell. That's one thing I, that's one thing that went unappreciated with him is that we you know you know we know that he, you know he was gonna be fight for everything that he had and everything and it's you know Keith Smith and you know knowing Rich Versace Keith Smith and Kyle Wilber um Kyle Wilber probably was af uh, offered more but more significant roles and you know a little bit more money so they got what they got uh Skander, you know we don't get the money to after so so that's kind of like this pocket you know this for the the draft and all that so the draft picks and all that so that's that's with them uh, but at the same time too, I was like okay I, I mean try to get something try to get something and then when finally I think that nobody was biting already they said you know what okay we'll give you we'll give you what you want release you now so it is what it is with that <laughs> all right I'll talk about the draft maybe next week Thursday or something like that but hopefully we can I mean with the second um, second week coming up in the free agency I hope we can address something for depth wise as far as like as far or covering up some bases as far as like offense alignment bringing a guy that you know if we draft a guy you know someone that can compete with or or if we need to develop a guy then we have a guy that has starter capabilities that's what I'm looking for. Same thing with linebacker. That's what I'm looking for. If wide receiver or safety comes up, but I'm confident in Xavier Woods. So I'm good. All right. Mahalo for watching. Funny all the boys. And like always, go Cowboys.